I'm going with a uh, chest piece today as opposed to the head piece. Um, just because frankly it's um, more comfortable than the head thing. However, we are going to need the light. In my light. There we go. Uh, we're going to go up to the cemetery and back. Should be about three miles. And um, we'll see. We're just going to go to where the sidewalk ends, basically. That's what's going to end up happening. God, somebody was driving along here, throwing 40s bottles out the window. There's so much broken glass. And we got this guy. Pretty sure delivery. Smell skunk, and not the not the weed kind.
You know, I honestly hate running on the sidewalk when I'm running with traffic. I, I feel way better being able to see the headlights of every car. So, I at least would have a chance of jumping out of the way if someone were like on their phone, falling asleep at the wheel, drunk. But when they're coming from behind me, I'm flying blind. I could just be running along and bam, life over. You know? Sidewalks don't stop cars, unfortunately. So I would take a road against traffic over a sidewalk with traffic any day. All right. We're about a mile in. Uh, two, two to go. Or, yeah. sidewalk barely <clears throat> oh, shit we got Manchester sidewalks here Oh my bad, that was one mile. Shit.
All right, this is where I'm turning around. This is the cemetery. So now we're headed back. That was, uh, well, just 1.1 miles, I guess. I thought that should have been closer to one and a half, but I guess I was way off. The bad part about not wearing the GoPro headgear is that I've lost my my slip security for my headband or my headlight because that thing is slipping like crazy right now as the sweat kicks in. I'm guessing that uh, the chest is way more nauseating of an angle than the head because my bodies are gonna rotate with my arms while my head is gonna be more stabilized so. but hey we're trying to think new things right we're working stuff out I'm uh Honestly, keeping my pace pretty light because I, uh, I'm just in it for the distance tonight. Not really the workout. Just trying to rack up miles. I was, uh, did a thousand yard swim this morning, followed by a uh, eight mile bike ride. And then had to wait from, for Sam to get home so I could come out here and run. So while I was killing time and warming up, I did about a 20 minute strength workout so it being uh, a little after 9 p.m. and having been up since a little after 4 a.m. my body's not really trying to push it right now but on some other news I have some uh, some tofu marinating in the fridge and I'm gonna pop in the air fryer. And then, on top of that, I'm gonna fry up two eggs, throw some cheese on there. And then I, I'm gonna soak, just absolutely drench two pieces of toast in butter. I'm gonna make a filthy egg sandwich. Just sloppy toppy, you know what I'm saying? A sloppy toppy eggy sammy. And, uh, Oh, I'm just really, really looking forward to that right now, you know. This morning I had for breakfast, get this, just me telling you this recipe is gonna, is gonna like anger you because of how disgusting it sounds. But I took a pre-made smoothie. It's called Gutsy. It's like a probiotic smoothie. And I dumped it into about two cups of large curd whole fat cottage cheese now it is an offensive uh food combination i will agree i'll say this it's not as bad as i thought but it was not enjoyable uh, the uh the recipe came courtesy of a dietitian that i filmed the other day and she was giving healthy snack options and i thought Damn, that one's just crazy enough to be good, you know? Because sometimes you hear like really good snack combinations and you're like, oh, that sounds nasty, but then it ends up being bomb, right? Like, you know, peanut butter and bacon and french fries and ice cream, all that. So I gave it a try. Nah, it's all good. It's, uh, I'm all set. But I like cottage cheese, so I have some sweet peppers that I'm probably going to uh, dip in it or I don't know honestly I could I could eat cottage cheese with a spoon even though it's 420 milligrams of sodium per serving but hey man I don't I'm not really a salt a salt hater <sighs> all right where are we at here 158 my pace is 929 right now so pretty bad but hey we're having a nice conversation, right? 
I appreciate uh, appreciate you guys watching watching this video. Uh, you know, I find myself watching the most bizarre long form YouTube content and it being some of my most favorite entertainment. So I can't even really shit on myself for making something like this because while I wouldn't watch myself for obvious reasons, uh, well, I can't judge those who would. <sighs> this headband's driving me nuts. So we're just approaching the two mile mark. I think we'll probably be at maybe a little bit under two and a half by this by the time this concludes. But I don't really know. It's hard to tell. These fitness trackers, well, at least all the ones that I've used, Apple Watch and Fitbit, are so inaccurate. Well, or so inconsistent, I'll say that. I can't speak on their accuracy, but I can tell you, you can do the same workout six times in the exact same way, and you'll get such wildly different results. Like, different by, you know, half a mile, or 250 calories burned. I still rock with them, because ultimately, it's just a fun game, you know? It's just like a little video game. Little, little goal worker. I figure for every time that it overcompensates, there's also uh, instances where it undercompensates. So it comes out in the end. All right, I'm gonna push this hill and quit talking for a bit. There's so much glass right there. All right, that's two miles. Final push, final push.
Whew, and that's game. 2.24, average mile, pace is 